like people assuming things about me because I'm tall. Um, the other day, I was at work, and this lady comes up to me and she's like, Sam, how many kids do you have? And I was like, what? Kids? What? What do you mean? She's like, I don't have kids. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. So I'm like, okay. And then she's like, what about your husband? How's your husband doing? And I was like, I don't have a husband. Oh, honey. Anywhere. And I heard of Home Depot's hiring, 
mean, they're always hiring by the sign. My cousin told me I could do, like, go stand with him by the sign, wait down the car, do his job. But I heard they're hiring inside, too. And I'm not <laughs> too excited about the idea of a bunch of older white guys trying to teach me about hard wood. No. So, and then every time I go into Home Depot, I walk in, like, oh, Home Depot. There's always a guy who's just like, ma'am, again, with the head full. I don't know where some people are like, ma'am, are you lost? I'm like, no. He's like, you look, you look confused. You need help. I was like, no, I think that's that. I'm Mexican. I know what happens here. Home Depot does. I was born with the ability to make a table. So, and I thought, okay. Well, and it's always, and it's never like the cute guy that works at Home Depot. It's always the creepy old guy that's like, eh. Hey. Like, no. And, like, okay, guys, y'all do some creepy things in the club. Okay, now think of all these things you do at the club. Take them out of the context of the club. Think of how weird that would be. So, like, just say you're dancing, and this guy randomly comes up and starts like directing his crowd at you. See, in the club, it's normal, normal. Now think if you were like walking down the street, minding your own business, and then some crazy guy's like, hey, hey, like throws his crap at you. It's weird, right? And then there's always that creepy dude who walking around, and he's like freaking Dracula, just like flings by the shadows, like, hey girl, that's what you're down to. So hey girl, and he's like, no, 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 no. And the whole like buying you a drink, like you wouldn't take a drink from a stranger, right? Like, there's always a guy who says, hey, you want to drink? Drink it. Like, why don't you just drink it? Just drink it. Bought it for you. And then they're like entitled. They think that, like, I went to a dance one, and this guy bought me a bottle of water. A dollar. It was a dollar. And he's like, hey, you want to go home with me? I was like, you bought me water. It's just water. Can you take me home? It's crazy. Shit. So, okay. And then I noticed, like, the girls, I don't know what it is, Instagram girls? What is it with the, like, what's the thought process that goes behind taking an Instagram picture? Like the booty picture? You know what I'm talking about? Like, on Instagram, there's that girl that's, like, with her butt. Like, half her butt is, like, on the counter of the bathroom. She's, like, like, you don't have, those girls don't have a butt. Then the girls are, like, so, okay, what do you think in real life? Do you think that you're going to show up? Like for example, like you're getting married, right? You take a picture like that, and you show up to the date, the guy's gonna notice you don't have a butt. I mean, and it looks like angle pictures, they're like from like up here. Doesn't look anything like, you know. You can show up to the date and you're just like, who are you? Who's that girl? And then the ones where, I don't get this one, they like break the vertebrae? So like, you have to like go like that or something? Like pop out your spine? Like, oh, I got a booty though. And then you can't show up to a date, like, hey, you look like you have a scoliosis. You might not have learned. Come on, I can't. Everyone knows. Um, what practice can you do for a fun dating Like, as Mexicans, we all have like that what, I like, but I went to Mexico. I didn't feel Mexican enough in Mexico. I was like super whitewashed. But there's always that uncle, like since I was little, he's like always super drunk. I don't know if that's his personality. I don't know if he's like that, but he's always drunk. And he like, every time he sees me, he's like, oh my god, you're so funny. Okay. And every time he sees me, he's like, okay. And he's kind of like, so, okay, yeah. I remember when we were little. And then I leave. And he comes back like an hour later. But we have, I remember when you were this little, like crouching lower, his knees are like shaking. I'm like, okay. And then like the last, like he's like super wasted, like all over. He's like, yeah. It's like on the floor. I remember when you were this little. <laughs> I remember. Like, dude, how do you remember that? He's like drunk all the time. This is a new joke I'm for right now. I don't know. Pay attention because it's coming out. So I was talking to my friend the other day. And he said to me, he's like, 
Spanish, the Latina, oh, not Latina, Latina. The Latina accent is like so hot. I'm like, what accent? What are you talking about? Is that his lip for me? I said, what? He said, thank you. Oh, okay. I need to clear this up because it's really annoying and it keeps coming up. Let me tell something to you, okay? I don't know if I like this all the time. I'm not hot or spicy or flaming. But I'm like an STD. Okay? And if you're going to be comparing me to salsa, I'm probably not going to be spicy anyway because I'm like a smaller person. And I'm not using my hair all the time. Okay? I'm not Sofia Vergara. Or Sofia Vergara. And I'm not walking around like from dancing to cumbias all the time. And saying, I'm puppy, I'm not going to call you puppy. I don't even have my own back puppy. That's kind of gross. <laughs> and you don't see me like going around to the right guys like, hey, can you talk in a British accent? <laughs> Please. Seriously, though. Who thought that flaming, burning, spicy hot are good words in Latino? It really doesn't like an STD. Like, I don't like that. And I'm going to see my head for interviews again. But like nobody talks like that. I thought it was normal. 